Thank you very much, Sue, and a huge thank you to the conference organizers. Mario, where are you? Probably still out there working. Well, thank you very much for welcoming us to Lisbon. I am um, Georgia, and I had the pleasure of being chair of Working Group 4, and my co-chair is Laura Yanuzi. If she's Laura here, she should be. I saw her. Oh, there she is, up in the back, hiding. What I want to do is to... How many of you here in this room haven't been a member of this cast or haven't come from... haven't been to many of the meetings, more than one meeting? Quite a few. You have not been. Yes, OK. What I want you to do, and this presentation is very different to um, the other three, and I really just want to give you a flavour of the size of the group and the scope of the group, what primarily what the group members are working on. Um, some of them are here, some of them are not, but you have their names if you wanted to get in touch with them. I was delighted to hear Sue say that um, the work would be done. Did you say it would be finished in 10 years? That only gives us another two. <laughs> yeah. um, and the reality is that we started in 2014. That was the 9th of December, 2014. Our first meeting was May 2015. We didn't start even coming together cohesively as a group until the Lancaster meeting the following October. So what you're about to see is really the culmination of two and a bit years' work. So, this is the topic Sue gave us. Examine organizational characteristics, context, cultures, economic costs, variations and in interventions in childbirth in different socio-political contexts. No problem. Where do you start? So, the first start was to ask the cost action members. At this stage, Sue had got the money. So I sent an email to cost action members thinking that there'd be some diversity. There was huge diversity um, came back at the themes that people wanted to look at under, the, under this WG4. But when you packed them all together, there was about 36 discrete topics that people were really clear they wanted to do, and they fitted under seven themes. So when we met in Barcelona, we discussed these topics. This is what I gave people. This is what emerged from it. There was, at this stage, probably 50-something members in working group four. Um, and at this meeting in Barcelona, or the first meeting in Barcelona, there was about 24, 28 people coming and going at the group. So it was a big group, lots of different, lots of wonderful ideas, some very different ideas. And these areas were emerging. There were some people that were really felt strongly about conducting work on obstetric violence, variation, and intervention rates. So it felt good that we were getting someplace and we were getting narrowed down on a focus that we could do. Then this happened. They started adding bits to it. They started drilling down more, and then I thought, okay, this is great, even better than getting more specific. Then this happened, and it was just what actually was happening felt overwhelming, but when you looked at it, what Sue described as that drilling down, becoming more specific. Then this happened. So three clear groups came out of it. Variations in intervention rates, obstetric violence, organization of care, and we all breathed a sigh of relief. Then this happened. They went and they developed more bubbles and bubbles and sub-bubbles, and it just kept rippling. And that's exactly what's happened over the last couple of years. So here's a flavor of some of the outputs of those ripples. Ank I don't know if she's here, but Ank and a P. Oh, look at her up at the back. And a PhD student in Netherlands are doing this lovely work on variations in um, childbirth intervention rates in high income countries. And they have data from several countries. Um, Catherine, is Catherine is here as well. I know she's presenting, she's looking at an alongside data, a paper on 
social vulnerability and ethnicity. Karina is looking at it in the context of maternity and paternity leave. Pass is who really the two economic uh, health economists joined us only about a year ago, but they're beginning to tease out all of the issues about costs and what sort of work has been done on economic evaluation. Paul is looking at the different side of it and coming from how, what's the proportion of cesareans that are done according to the Robson criteria and he has created a lovely um, website in Cork and you can input your data and it will generate the results. And we're also having a look at the prevalence of maternal requests and that also includes non-medical reasons for cesarean section. Yetta is here, and Yetta is leading the group on obstetric violence. And that was a very clear group from the outset. It was really to look at, and herself and Michelle from Chile and others have published a paper. One of the papers that they're working on now is this thing that we've called hidden practices. What data are not reported? Interesting question and also on women on the move, why women move and midwives move with them. Then it developed little subgroups, and Mario is looking at a lovely study on out of hospital, so home birth. And Patricia is also looking at, um, Patricia did some work to inform their national guidelines on an SCSM, and they got Maria and Patricia here got funding to do, um, look at home birth in Northern Ireland. Trish is also doing a bit of work and has done more work with Ramon on bullying, and I know that they've translated the tool into Spanish. And in Ireland, we're hoping to get some funding to do an all-Ireland survey of work, health, and emotional lives of midwives. Dolores, she's been busy, um, really busy. Then there's organization of care, and Sarah, Barelli, who became a mother in the middle of all of this, is leading this lovely one. We have two architectures. Of course, they're from Italy, from Florence, and they're doing absolutely fantastic new work on movement and space. And um, if you're particularly interested, talk to, talk to them about how they have managed to get architectural plans and they have fascinating software that will help them analyze the movement of women and midwives and doctors and everyone around those spaces. Sandra is leading a paper on the whole history throughout the century. Ramon, if you want to talk to someone who has shifted and implemented change, radical change in parts of Spain and in Catalonia, talk to this man. I remember years ago learning that Spain had a medical, very medicalized birth system, and I knew some of the people in Spain very well, and I understood what it was like. Now all you hear coming out of Spain is birth centers. So talk to Ramon. Um, or even better, come to our conference in Dublin, because he's talking of it. <laughs> um, Catherine is doing a, pay, a, a project on mapping maternity care systems in Europe. Um, we're doing, it's done a separate project on variation in oxytocin regimes uh, throughout Europe, and there's 12 countries involved in that. Mechtel has, and others have published, have submitted the paper from all the university hospitals in Germany, and we're presenting the analysis of the data from all the other countries later. Room 203 at 11.50. <laughs> Final goal, get to the 9th of December 2018, <laughs> then keep going. <laughs> Thank you.